Right now, people say that data is the new global currency. So whoever can work with data gains competitive advantage, not only for healthcare, but every domain. Our program is one of the four programs under the Department of Clinical Epidemiology and Biostatistics. So we has vision to merge the medical knowledge to the advancement of technology, particularly the technology related to data science to solve many pain points in healthcare domain. I think that our program is only one in Thailand uh, that emphasizes in healthcare. Our program offer a master degree and PhD degree, two or three years to finish the master and probably three to five years to finish, uh, to finish the PhD, depending on how the complication of the topic is. Nowadays, treatment and decision making based on uh, data. But if the data gives some information for us and can predict something, it would be better. And people with our uh, knowledge about data management or AI may cannot catch the train that going very fast. So it's really important to know how to use and to understand what behind the data and what behind the decision that will be made from the AI. Well, uh, we start from um, traditional uh, knowledge, for example, traditional machine learning, data mining, statistics that basically used in the research in the area of medicines. Then we will apply the knowledge of the, for example, clinical information, right? Because you are working with healthcare data, so this is the thing that you really need to know. And also, you need to know the advanced knowledge. For example, the modern machine learning, like deep learning, artificial intelligence, and um, image processing, signal processing, text processing, really focus on the healthcare domain, which means that students need at least basic knowledge of how the healthcare system is and then also need to spend their time to get familiar with the healthcare data. When they see the laboratory result, they should be able to understand what is the meaning of a specific laboratory result. The very interesting part of our program is that students will have the real experience to work in the real environment. We have hospital, we have clinician, we have biostatistician, we have information, we have pharmacist, and we have the scientist like me. We work as a team, the advisor team, to handle each student in each research topics and our topic came from the real settings the data came from the real data students will conduct their research from upstream to the downstream we will build the AI to help doctors work better than ever we try to combine uh, the knowledge of data science and medical knowledge to completely integrate and that's why it's not just one subject, but it should be the whole program. So it's somehow related in, the, in terms of how to apply the knowledge of the computers into the healthcare that can improve, improve the patient lives. Mostly I thought we, I'm going to learn about theory a lot, but somehow here there's a, like a lecturers or teachers that they try to teach not only theory but practice, also practice as well. It's very challenging if we study data science and we want to build a new research in the future. Until now I enjoy and I have so many experiences as well about our educational system in Thailand particularly. Healthcare is very fascinating area. It's strongly related to our life. So I think there's a lot more opportunity uh, for uh, our students in the future. 
10 years ago, people may think that human is the valuable asset to organization. But right now, things change. People say data is the most valuable asset. And if our students can work with this data, so how attractive they are to the world market.